double upload Matt in the building. Oh, 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 oh. Yo, what's up, guys? On a serious note, it's a double upload. You know, any day we up, well, not upload once, but double upload on this channel is a great day. It's straight up a great day. And you have also picked up on it if we double upload on this channel. We got some serious news and this video is going to be highly important. And last time I double uploaded, it was literally only two days ago and you guys absolutely loved it and killed the like button. So if you want to see more double uploads, I can't promise they're going to happen all the time. They may happen twice in a week and they may only happen once a month. But come on now, for the double upload, you got to leave a like down below and it also lets me know that you guys are rocking with the videos. All right, that's enough chitter chatter. Let's get straight into the news. Terrence Clark, who is a five-star recruit and was one of the best players in the country last year just posted this on social media on his instagram story he put quote unquote make sure y'all keep that same disrespectful energy next year 100 emoji and sad emoji all right i know that ain't a sad emoji but it's like a upward whatever y'all get what i'm trying to say it's like an upside down frown anyways let's continue on so yeah he put that on the instagram story but here's the thing nobody knows what he's talking about everybody went to the comment section and they're like yo what are you talking about who's been disrespecting you and no one really knew who he specifically was calling out but but you know your boy Matt had to do a little research and here's what I found out. He shot roughly only 19% beyond the three-point line and only averaged eight points per game in the recent AAU season. And not everyone, but a lot of people were clowning him for that. And since basketball hasn't really been around as of recent, he hasn't got another shot to prove himself. It don't matter what you're doing in life, people are gonna hate on you and I just think he got tired of people hating on him for his terrible AAU performance. I know I just said it was terrible, but it wasn't really that bad. It just wasn't really good and up to his standards. And this is out of character for him because he really doesn't post a lot on social media, so this caught a lot of people off guard. All in all, I just think he got tired of the haters and couldn't stand it anymore, so he just had to speak his mind. This guy's already a beast, and he doesn't need any more extra motivation, but now he has it. And that's just going off of my conspiracy theory. He could be talking about something completely different, but I'm almost 99 for sure that's what he's referring to. Now with all of that being said, let's jump into our next story. You guys know who Imani Bates is. He's one of the best young players in high school basketball. When I tell you there's been a lot, I mean there's been more than a lot. There's been a ton of rumors going around that Imani Bates is going to reclassify. And this is very big news because this is going to impact a ton of stuff. The five-star Michigan State commit himself hinted at the end of his Instagram live video that he's going to reclassify. This would take him from the class of 2022 to the class of 2021. Although everyone has been anticipating this for a while, he hasn't said anything about it up until now. And he really hinted to it because this is what he said, quote unquote, I might be reclassifying to 2021. He's the number one player in the class of 22, but if he reclassifies, I still think he'll be the number one player in the class of 2021. And even though he's committed to Michigan State, the NBA is already supposed to have the one and done rule in place for when he's eligible. However, if he does decide to reclassify officially, I don't think anyone's going to be in shock. And honestly, it's probably the smartest decision for him right now. And we just got to keep it 100. He's the next Kevin Durant. He's a 6'9 small forward who can handle the ball extremely well and has a great shooting touch. So yeah, I think we can all agree it's very similar to Kevin Durant. And even though he's listed at small forward, he actually said this on his Instagram story. I'm really like a 6'9 point guard with a 100 emoji. And this doesn't really seem like big news, right? But it actually stirred up a lot of controversy. A lot of people went to the comment section and agreed with him, but there was also a lot of people that didn't agree with him. A lot of people were like, relax, chill out, you're taking it too far. TBG said, definitely not a point guard. Logie Ray said, nah, just because because you can dribble doesn't make you a PG. And you guys get my point. There was a lot of people that actually weren't agreeing with him. I don't have a problem with him saying this at all because I think he can back it up. What can a point guard do that he can't do? He can handle the ball just as good as any point guard out there. Just because he's 6'9 doesn't mean he can't be listed as a point guard. I don't know though. I know this is a very controversial topic so let me know what you guys think down below. I really don't think it's that big of a deal but to everyone else it really was. And staying in touch with Imani Bates, we have something else to talk about with this guy. I've been paying attention to his Instagram. Not stalking it, but paying attention to it. And roughly a week ago, I went to it. I can't remember why, but I wound up getting to his page somehow. You guys know how that works. When I got to his page, I noticed he had roughly 10 or 15 pictures, and I thought he had like 75 the last time I went there. But I really didn't think too much about it, and when I went to his Instagram for this video, I saw that he now has zero pictures. And here's another thing. I went last night, and he only had one photo, so now he's even deleted that. 
And as of right now, he has zero posts on his Instagram when I'm making this video. He posts on his Instagram story all the time, but I don't know why he deleted all of his pictures, but I don't know. I just thought that was kind of interesting. Maybe he's trying to send a message to somebody or a college or anything like that. We don't really know. And I'm not going to make up any crazy assumptions because I just straight up don't know what's going on. If anything else happens with Imani Bates, I'll definitely keep you guys updated. But yeah, man, with all that being said, that's probably going to wrap up the news video for today. I know we had a ton of stuff about Imani Bates, but I had to get it out there for you guys. And like I said earlier in this video, if you're rocking with the double uploads in the news brought to you by your boy Matt, leave a like down below. I can't thank you guys enough for all the love and support you give me. It's just crazy. Just thank you guys so much. And as always, let's be great. I'm out, y'all. Peace. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me. Oh yeah, I'm out, y'all. Peace.